uh, thank you guys for calling us here today because of your concerns and your potential to make a very large profit for our company. And uh, thank you once again for doing the right thing in coming to us with this. Um, obviously, let me begin by saying that we care about you, your opinions, and your efforts to make this company even better. But we also care about the societal norms that we see, which are dynamic not only within geographical and cultural boundaries, but between people sometimes as well. And what we're trying to do as a multinational corporation is to balance our norms with other people's norms to create the best service and the best product for our people and create the best profit possible as well. So, Mr. O, do you want to add anything to that? Uh, yeah, I would just like to say, uh, I would like to agree with my colleague. You did the right thing by coming to us. Global managers can avoid ethical bad decisions and scandals by not taking personal action and bringing it to people like us. And there's with more people, more opinions, there's less chance of making a bad ethical decision and causing a problem for our company. We, uh, by doing it this way, we can maximize our profit for better decisions and create more uh, sustainable profits. Yeah, let's, let's be honest here, $25 million, that's a lot of money. I don't think anybody would complain if they had that in their bank account at the end of the day. But what we've found as we've looked at markets is that bribes especially create to market instabilities which make it harder to track the markets because they fluctuate not on economical laws but on who has it in good with who. So what we're saying, what we're trying to say I guess is that by placing bribes you're actually hurting yourself and one of the biggest producers of profit in industry which is efficiency. Bribes cut down on efficiency. And that's one of the largest things that we have to look at when making a business decision. I like what you're saying, except I'm not sure I dis I'm not sure I agree with the inefficiency because the bribe is for them. We're the ones responsible for how efficient we are to We have nothing to do with that. Well, um, you, you have a very good point there, which is it's for them. But the problem is that this person obviously has a lot of power if we're giving this contract to them. And what we're looking at is, once again, with cultures, is that this is a cultural thing. It's, it's global within that culture. So it's, it's kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back. If one person is doing it, that's not a problem. But if it's an entire company of people, or an entire country of people with power, then that becomes a global thing. And that tiny little bit just grows exponentially. And taking into consideration that these bribes will cause more illegalities, it'll cause a vicious cycle. We'll have to cover it up in our accounting, which is definitely against U.S. law. And we are under U.S. law. We're not impervious to it. And these companies could try to extort us for more money since we're hiding it all. There's no way that we can complain if they try to take more for us. I'd just like to point out today the headlines that BP was involved in the Lockerbie Bombers release. They already have a major economic disaster on their hands. Now they were involved with getting a known terrorist released from jail. That is horrible publicity for them. That's definitely cutting into their bottom line right now. And people across the company, country calling for boycotts. And that's the kind of thing that we could see here. We pride ourselves on ethical behavior. Why would we do this to ourselves? It just wouldn't pay off in the long isn't there some way, though, I mean, we are talking about a lot of profit, and profit is good. You know, you can do a lot of good things with profit. Oh, yes. If we're talking about $800,000 and we're talking about a $24.2 million profit, is there not some way that that $800,000 can come off the top line of that $24.2 million? It's not a bribe. It's, I don't know. We take less money. or what, Is there not any way? Well, the, the less directly that we give the money to that person, the more potential for illegal activities there are. We see it graft. That's plain and simple. That's what it is. And um, of course, the 800000 would come out of our profits as a strange sort of um, investment capital, I guess you could call it. But in the end, what, what we're saying is that it wouldn't pay off in the long run. So do we do the deal with other options? Do we not do a deal? What do you suggest? Our bottom line is profit. Is it, is not, our bottom line is not profit, it's sustainable profit. If you can't sustain the profit, your company's future is doomed. You don't start a company thinking, oh, I'm going to make money next month and then I'm going to close. You make it thinking you're going to make money for years and years to come. 
by taking these pipes, we're reducing our company's life. And simple. Instead of trying to create an opportunity for ourselves by doing illegal things that are illegal, we should wait for a legal opportunity to arise in the market because that's where the real profit is. That's where the real profit is. That's where we can make sustainable money. You know, we thought this was a legal opportunity. Yes. You know. Well, I, I realize that, and that's that's why we're saying yes. You guys did do the right thing, and by pursuing this and by making by checking into this as much as you have, you have done the right thing. And no, nobody is faulting you here. Believe us, we would love to make twenty four point two million dollars on any deal that we do. I recommend. But we've we've looked at it, and if the opportunity arises to enter this market in a legal way, we will definitely do that because obviously the potential is there. There's great potential in this market. Are you pretty much saying though that if we can't, if we are not um, going to bribe in some way, or whether we call it bribes, whether we call it capital investment, whatever, we're just not going to do business in the South American market? Uh, that's, that's not what we're saying at all. That's not what we're saying at all. The, we need to foster as a company ethical practices. And by us fostering ethical practices, by other multinational company, companies fostering ethical practices, hopefully we'll get to the point to where these leaders don't expect bribes when it would violate our own company's conscience because we wouldn't be doing business with them. Obviously, we can't expect every country or every company to abide by our own policies. But there are things that we should expect companies to do, which is obeying the law, which we wouldn't be doing by United States law here if we entered into this market. Yeah, like my colleague said, the bottom line isn't just profit, it's sustainable profit. I see future business executives in the room. I know it. Thank you very much. Thank you.